Hello, Steve here back again with part, uh, tw I think it's 22, yeah, 22. I'm building this DJH Thompson B1 kit. And uh, greetings, man of an alien, Sivara Supermanium, is Station Master West Green. He's back. <laughs> he couldn't stay away for long. Anyway, so what have I been up to? So, so far, I've married up the chassis. I'm getting very close to rebuilding the chassis. Uh, I've got, as far as I can work out, everything on it. Obviously, I've got to paint it, but I'm going to mask that up and put the paint the cylinders and then put in a motion bracket. I mean, I can put it all back on, but... Oh, and I've done the... Uh, as in my previous video, I've put in the... Uh, the front buffer beam and all that sort of caper. But what, I, what I've got to do, which I had on before, there are four brackets uh, which go on to the... There's two, four, and two go on each side. And both, I've, I've had these on before, but they were too far down. So when I put the body up, um, there was a big gap. But these are supposed to be part of the foot plate, if you know what I mean. So um, I'll show you. So I think... I'll have to check the drawer and I think after I put this on, I can clean all this up and spray it. That's the plan. So anyway, so these were down, there was a gap, they were down there. But what I've got to do is move them further up so it's like they're right underneath the frame. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Two, there's two that side and two the other side. And then I'm thinking, I should be able to, um, I just check there's nothing else to go on the chassis. Um, if that's the case, then I can clean all this up, uh, prime it, paint it black. I'm just going to put some tape over there because I can paint all this outside because the cylinders fit over there and they solder from the inside. Same here, there's a motion bracket. So I'll take that up so that it's not soldered uh, then once I've painted it I can solder it on from the inside and touch up with a brush then I can put all the uh, all the gubbins on all the valve gear that's the plan so I've got the chassis done as far as I know hopefully I haven't left anything off I replaced those moved them up uh, I've cleaned the chassis I used uh, barkeeper's friend and a toothbrush and cleaned it all up and then I've put it in some soapy water to make sure there's no grease in it and rinsed it and rinsed it and rinsed it but what I've got to do now what I need to do I've got uh, a few things that need masking off I've got stuff oh, that's tinned and the motion bracket goes on there so I want to mask that off and also on the inside there's an area there where there's a bracket so I'm going to mask that off and of course uh, I want to mask off at least there and there because the cylinders fit over there so I'm going to spray the frames and the cylinders solder them inside, put the motion bracket on blah 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 and the other thing then I'm going to use a, a brush and just fill in the areas where I couldn't get uh, there's probably other ways to do it but I'm not a professional, I'm just a hack Anyway, that's it. So I've uh, I've used the Metal Pro Etch Primer um, on the frames. I put paper in the uh, rolled up paper. Uh, in the axle so it doesn't gum up uh, you can just you can just see where I've got the tape there there and just over the cylinders just over the um, cylinder mount so that uh, when I put it over I'll have white metal and I can solder them on um, to be honest it hasn't come up too bad uh, I'm pretty happy with it and um, I'll leave it for a few days and then I'm going to uh, 
get some, uh, I think I'll just get some spray paint. So I think I'll just use um, matte black. Then I can put all the wheels on or I can put the cylinders back on. Put the bracket on and then start getting this all together. Anyway, that's it.